this presentation, we will be talking about packaging a rough software in the Open Build service for open source distributions. If you haven't watched Sean's video about OSC and how to use the OSC command line to interact with the Open Build service, I recommend you to do so. So why do we need to talk about uh, packaging raw software in Open Build service? So first, we need to understand that C and C++ software are usually built with dependencies installed as system libraries. So in Open Build service, the build step this allows internet connection. Fortunately, dependencies for a C or C++ software are cached and installed before the RPM build process. This is different in Rust and Go since their dependencies are not installed as system libraries. So there was an attempt to uh, package all the crates in Rust in OpenSUSE, but that was not a good idea. So the current consensus is now that you are going to vendor all those dependencies so vendoring means that you need to download all the dependencies create an archive of it and ship it along with the source code or source tarball which means that during the build process the vendor tarball will be extracted so that the cargo build process for example in rust can use those vendor dependencies for compiling the said software so what is the necessary steps to like package rust software for the open build service for open source distributions so here are the requirements so of course you need osc and obs service cargo which automates the process of vendoring and then shipping and of course cargo or rest stop so here are the steps for the first step you create a project write the spec file then write the service file you then document the changes with osc and commit the project with osc ci so let's try this in real time so i prepared a software to ship i think here okay so i want this to be part of open source so what should we do first in your home project you need to prepare a spec file for this software so what is the mk pack jack and then jack so just follow me here uh, I will be a bit silent during the process. So we need to copy the URL and then source zero. So there was an update in RPM, writing RPM spec files, so you need to specify the number now of the source. So this won't work anymore. This will cause an RPM mint error. Okay, so to get the carbo, we need to copy the link. Okay, so copy this. So this is not necessary, but I usually love to rename the source turbo because uh, it actually confuses me a lot and it's way, it's way more cleaner to look at than just looking at the version number than turbo name. Okay, so nope. uh, by default, uh, the OBS service cargo will output uh, CSTD compressed uh, tar archive. So, it. And I also found out I think that this needs GCC for any C compiler. You can just use this. But for compatibility sake, for other distributions such as Fedora, uh, we can just use this. Okay. 
Next is cargo. Build requires. I also need build requires cargo packaging. So this one contains uh, useful macros. Uh, it just actually calls the cargo command. And of course, I forgot the license. So we need the license here. I think it's MIT. Yep, it's MIT. And the description. Oh, I forgot the summary as well. So we need to put the summary. So JQ clone written in Rust. And then just copy the first sentence. I don't really care about what it does. I just know that it's more correct that it, that it aims to be more correct than the original JQ. Okay. And then what's next? Okay. Uh, prep. So I think auto setup is now the more popular one to use. So A1 means extracting the archive number one to the root of the uh, original source variable. Okay. Next would be build. So since we have cargo packaging, build. Uh, since this is a workspace, so you have to look out for many Rust projects that does this. Since this is a workspace, I think you can either go with this or you can actually just do this then cargo build. And then D. But I prefer using this. Okay. And next would be running the test. So I advise you to always check if there are test cases or a test suite for a Rust project. They're very useful if you want the software to work correctly or, or to ensure if the software still works correctly. Next is the install section. So what I hate about the Rust cargo command is that the cargo build and the cargo install does not have consistent uh, consistent flags. So cargo install does not have a cargo install package flag. So it does not have that. So in order to install Jack properly, you need to go to this directory where, where the binary is actually built for. Next, file. So of course, pdar. And then license. So I think the name of the file is license MIT. And doc is readme.md. Okay. Uh, what are the examples for? Okay, I think that's used for the tests. So next would be change log. Just empty because we already we will create a change here's file. No need for adding stuff here. And then we need to run, I think, format spec file. So it needs to be perfect. I think it's done. Uh, we can take a look a bit. Okay, so we might have missed something. Let's see. Ooh, so weird. I didn't. Oh, I think that's not. That's not a call. That's not a colon. That's a semicolon. Okay, everything's good. And next, what was the next step? We we write the service file. Okay, we need to write the service file. So, 
Writing a service file is quite easy as long as you know the names of the OBS service automation tools. The service name, what I usually use for uh, packaging is download files. So just so you know, if you haven't known yet, uh, this Usually this was disabled mode, but that was obsoleted. The recommended mode is now manual. Next is cargo vendor. Mode manual. Oh, oops. So vendor needs the source parameter. Oh. OBS service cargo vendor now supports globbing, so you can just uh, you can just use gloves so it's more like a reg x thing next is this is not actually required but uh, upstream hasn't uh, fixed that issue yet so we need this parameter even though we know that cargo audit is now part of the cargo vendoring process so that's it I think I forgot the semicolon at the top as well. Okay, so next would be... Oh, wait. I also need to tell you that there's also a bit of a bug. You need to add, add the update parameter so that uh, the open source, the OBS source validator won't scream at you i think this is it so we can just run service mr i hope this works yep so read along the new ways uh the new updates about the OPS service cargo vendor so we don't need actually the cargo config now. It's already part of the vendor process. As part of the vendor tarball actually. And you can also uh, do multiple cargo tomos if you want. And again, like I said, a cargo audit is now part of the cargo vendor process. So meaning you don't have to configure it separately. However, upstream hasn't changed the source validator yet so it still screams at you if you're missing the parameter to update true or missing the cargo audit uh the cargo audit service in the service file so we need to add this add that oh wait my bad add that add vendor jack that spec and also we need to the next step is document the changes so initial spec file for jack 1.3.0 then add that as well run OSE status to check if everything's done correctly okay they're all added and then we commit okay so we just need to commit this I hope my internet connection is fast because in the Philippines it's very 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 slow but I think it's around okay that's that was fast so we can just look to build open source.org hmm Seems my internet connection is very slow here. Okay, Jack. So in a bit, uh, let's see if it's if it builds. Why is X eighty six not here? It's so weird, but okay. Maybe I accidentally. Hmm. 
it's a shack for a bit while we wait for it to build correctly. Oh, maybe a bug. So we need to check it again. So we can wait. Okay, it's compiling. So I think I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to pause this. So we're actually done. Uh, the build process was successful. I think this one will not be successful because I'm not really I'm not really sure why but let's just ignore that for now so so now that it's already built uh, just ignore this so now that it's already built we can just then uh, we can just then submit this package so submission of packages I usually love to use the the web the web version instead of like going to the command line although i love the command line but that's not what i want when it comes to submitting software here so i want to add jack in utilities so you can just maybe check this usually i just check this because i will assume that this will be added in if it's added in utilities repo, uh, at least that will be deleted. So at least the my package in home and compiler maker will be deleted. So let's just submit that. And that's it. So if you want to ask me how to package Rust in OpenSUSE, you can just go to the discord server of pinsus and ask me in the packaging channel to like if you want to ask more about me and how to package in OpenSUSE. all right that will be the end of the session so the next session will be about go but that will be for another video